It's springtime in New Zealand and it's whitebait season. Now as the name suggests, no it's not actually a sport where you go out and, and trap Caucasian people. In fact, the term whitebait is a British term used to describe small juvenile fry that swim upstream during springtime. And the act of whitebaiting is to catch them for food. And it's quite lucrative. Last year at the Parirua New World supermarket, one kilo of whitebait was sold for $140. You can almost buy a PS5 with 5 kilos. But that being said, I've never done this before, nor do I know what a white bait tastes like. I've been told a lot about it from everyone around me, and now that the season's here, I was quite curious. I finally got an invitation from my friend Sharo, the dude that took us out fishing for kingfish in one of the previous videos. So we started off by traveling to the Manawatu River. There we managed to drive into a private property to look for some shallow waters to put our nets into it. Uh, hi, what do you guys want? All of you? Hello. Oh god, they're still, they're still watching me. Oh god, I'm scared. Here in the west coast of New Zealand, drag nets are not allowed for the catching of white bait. What you can see us using in this video is the sock net and the set and scoop net. The sock net is the one you leave in the water for a long period and it will slowly collect white bait swimming upstream. The set and scoop net, as the name implies, you set the net down in the shallows and the white bait are diverted to a small net at the end that needs to be checked every few minutes or the white bait will be able to swim out. Uh, not about a dozen though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey. One more. That was heat. Oh, oh. Oh. While we waited, I tried to do a little bit of lure fishing for the trout in the area, but unfortunately, I had nothing biting. We tried getting some underwater footage of the white bait, but trying to film a clear colored fish in silty water was hard enough. So instead, here are some facts I found on the internet about whitebait. Fact number one. Whitebait are caught during their migration into freshwater habitats after their larval stage at sea. Fact number two. The whitebait make their journey from the sea to freshwater at around 45 to 55 millimeters or at 15 to 22 weeks of age. Fact number three. Whitebait in New Zealand are actually a combination of five galaxid species. Four of the five adult species are threatened. According to foresandbird.org, predictions based on different models show that all four of these species will be extinct by 2050. This also includes the most common species of the whitebait catch, the Inanga. More information and regulation about whitebait can be found in the description below. The decline of whitebait population has been recorded as early as the 1890s, with loss of habitat from agriculture and urban expansion, with a growing demand and population of fishermen. New Zealand's Department of Conservation has been steadily applying new regulations to white baiting, and over the next few years, we will be seeing even more regulations implemented to keep the populations healthy. Everybody wishes for a big haul, but <laughs> in these good, that's a feed right there. There's a fritter. Need a marker, eh? All right, my lift. Let's do it. Oh yeah. yeah, good stuff. One <laughs> bait. Nah, pick it up and lift it towards you now. All right. Oh, that's so cool. That so cool. All right, two more. There yeah, we go. Two more there. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Making omelets. <laughs> Wait, 
Let's see if it gets a bit healthier. We gathered all our white bait and put it all in one bucket yeah. and managed to collect a total of five pounds of white bait. Well, that big well. Smells like cucumber. <laughs> yeah, cucumber fish. Cucumber fish. <laughs> There are several ways to prepare white bait in New Zealand, but one of the most common recipes involves using chicken egg, salt and pepper, a dash of fish sauce, whisk the eggs together, then add the white bait. Butter and oil is then melted together on a medium hot pan. Next, we fry the white bait egg mixture in the pan until the white bait start changing from clear and translucent to a white color. When the white color is achieved, the patty is then folded in half. Fried a little more until cooked through. Serve with a few drops of lemon juice, eaten on its own or in the traditional New Zealand way in a slice of white bread. Alright. Well, so much exposure. There you go. That's better. Cool, cool, cool. First time eating white bait in New Zealand. Let's do this. Let's do this, bro. We'll never look back, bro. It really looks like our omelets back at home. So that's supposed to be the cucumber fish. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, really, it tastes like a Thai omelet. <laughs> so good. That's so good. You get to the fish. It's like it's a really nice texture. That. Mm. Yeah, like it breaks at just the same as the egg. You know. Yeah. Like you don't bite into it and feel like it pop, and more like it just got the same consistency it has egg. Yeah. Mm. And the fish sauce, that's that's where it's getting you. Yeah. A little bit of lemon. Mm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> It's your favorite food in the world. Yuck. Oh. oh. What are you doing? Polishing up a one pole. Of them's, one of them's even endangered. Why are you polishing up poles? <laughs> Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Yesterday we tried white bait for the first time and I have to say it's a very mild taste. Not a strong tasting fish. When you bite into it, it almost tastes like you're biting into more egg. But it does have a little tiny bit of like gritty crunch to it. But one thing I could say is when I saw Shiro making that dish, I noticed how he put fish sauce into the egg. And as someone from Thailand, this looks really familiar and really haven't, I haven't really seen anyone do this since I was in Thailand. You know, we actually have a dish very similar to what they have here and we call it Kai Jio. Kai means egg and Jio meaning to cook something in lots of oil. Basically, Kai Jio is the Thai omelet. And today I'm going to try and make a Thai omelet with the white bait inside. But the kai jiao we'll make today is called the kai jiao fu. Fu means fluffed. I guess this is the first time that Becca hookers need a fluffer. The idea is we're gonna make this super fluffy and super crunchy the way the restaurants in Thailand make it. So most people at home don't actually make the kai jiao fu simply because it's a lot of oil, really crunchy and fatty and super indulgent. But today, we're going that route. All right, I'm gonna start by putting in two eggs. Salt, pepper, fish sauce, and here's your secret ingredient. You ready for it, boys and girls? It's just plain water. You take about two teaspoons of water in there, maybe a third, yeah, two and a half. 
that oil, that water is gonna help you get that extra fluff. And then we give it a stir, mix it all in together. This is where we add our white tape. I'm gonna use about three tablespoons for this serving. About three spoons of white bait. Mix it all in evenly. All right. That's looking good and that's ready. For this recipe, we're gonna need a pot filled with about three to four inches of oil and a frying pan. Now, traditionally, you'll be making the Thai style omelet in one of these, but we're going with a Kai Jiu Fu today. So we'll be making it in this pot and then transitioning it to this pan to flip it over. So before we start, we gotta get this oil nice and hot. Like you wanna see a little bit of smoke coming up, that's when we can start cooking. Now I'm gonna use a spoon to slowly pour in a few drops first. This is gonna create our top crunchy layer. Let's do this. There you go, see that? Mm. That's gonna be our crunchy layer. So we're gonna just slowly put in just the egg on the top of that. Nope. You see that? It's just fluffing with the oil. I'm going to turn on the extractor fan so we don't smoke the place out. All right. And then once you get that layer, just let it get crunchier. Give it about a minute or two. Just let it crunch up a little bit. And that's before you put in the rest of the omelet. All right, so you want to start sprouting. It's looking good. It's looking good. See that? And then we start adding the rest of the omelet in. Here we go. Let's do this. At this point, we could just use the spatula, push it down, let the oil just totally envelop this thing. There you go. Super fluffy, super crunchy. You don't have to wait too long. This oil is super hot. You give it maybe a minute or two before it starts browning. And then we'll flip sides. Now we get the pan ready. First we take this off the heat and we take the spatula, put it underneath our egg lift it out, and slide it onto the pan. That way you keep the integrity of the egg. There you go, see? Boom. Once it's here, you can just flip it over. You just hold it with a spatula, flip it upside down, and lower it back into the oil. Boom. Just like that. Please excuse the baby that's crying in the background. He just woke up from his nap a little bit early. But this is, this is dad life, baby. Give it a few seconds to crunch up a little bit. Submerge the egg in a bit more oil. Scoop it one more time. Take it out of the oil and put it on a plate. So let all the oil drip off first as much as you can. You don't want that oily egg, you just want a crunchy egg with the white bait inside. All right, shake a bit more, lift it up, put it on a plate, boom. This, folks, is a finished Kai Jiu Fu, but it's got white bait, so I guess we call it Kai Jiu Fu white bait. All right, we gotta serve this with some rice, so hang on. The way the Thai people do it. All right, here's a fork, and let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's some crunchy omelet. Mmm. Oh, so crunchy. Just like, just like in a Thai restaurant back at home. People don't make omelets like this at home, man. This is like what you usually get at the restaurants. So most people don't want to use as much oil when they're cooking an egg, but goddamn, it is good. Mmm. Oh, there's a white bait inside. Oh, let's get a shot of the white bait. All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Sharo and Mark, for taking me out white baiting. It was an awesome and unique experience. And now I'm going to enjoy myself some white bait kaijiu fu with rice. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Osback Hooker. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, sub, join the community. And I'll see you guys in the comments in the next video. So, white bait crap. Mm. Okay. 
it's about time for me to go in. <laughs> like I dive deep. Like I'm last week night with the flow here. Johnny boy, my peeps. I'm an infotainment stain. My brain ain't contained. Shit keeps spilling out. I'm belligerent and insane. My drink don't stay in place. That shit's in my I'm house. just two girls, one company. Keep it hipster like succulents. My main bitch be 